We're getting 60 watts, dude. Let's go. Dude, we're getting 65 watts of solar. I just saw 65 watts of input. That is freaking sick. Yeah, 63, 64, 65. Maybe that'll be a freaking epic thumbnail. Or that right there. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking big. <laughs> I wish that's what she said. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? This is what would Josh do. And this is an EcoFlow solar panel, 110 watts. Recently, we had Amazon's Prime Day for two days. And they had the 110 watt and the 220 watt. This one was 199 and the 200 watt was 379. And I struggled with myself on which one to get. I didn't have anything that could take 200 watts at the time. And so I went ahead and got this one. Now I'm kind of wishing I'd gotten the 200 watt because when you put this out in the sun, if there's not very much sun, you're not going to get as much coverage but if you have a bigger panel that does 200 watts maybe you're getting 100 of those 200 watts but with this guy you would only get 50 of those 200 of those 100 watts so you know <laughs> going back i would have got the 220 watt for 379 but you know what it's too late it's here now and the price has gone up my goal was to get the anchor 100 watt panel because i have this guy right here a lot of you have seen that video uh, this is the Anchor 548. This thing is amazing. I currently have it charging up my uh, tablet, but it has an XT60 solar input, meaning you can use the solar input and use both USB-C ports, which is awesome. And you can charge it via the sun if you are somewhere without power. I used to be in the military, and I can tell you this. I've spent time in the desert, and this thing right here, combined with the solar panel in the desert, would have meant I could have watched Step Brothers a thousand times with this guy on my laptop. So, so yeah, this this is sick. Uh, this is way too big for my desk. I can't even get it all in this shot, but we're doing what we can here. So, there's instructions on mounting it. Open it up. Take the hooks out so that folds out. And... Yeah, whatever. I, I, I don't know. We'll, we will just figure it out. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, this is going to be not possible to do on camera all the way. So, oh, there we go. That is an alternate way of doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, so ADHD. Back to what I was saying earlier. I wanted to get the anchor one. But Anchor said it didn't actually work with the Anchor 548. They confirmed that. I had a viewer email me. Then I emailed them, and they recommended the EcoFlow 110 watt. So Anchor actually recommended buying this panel instead of theirs to use with the Anchor 548 because you, it's not compatible at this time. All right, so in here we've got some goodies. We have the instruction booklet, uh, questions, warranty. And then we have some hooks. Okay, so it's like a briefcase. That's really cool. It is unzips. Oh my word, it's kind of nice. Okay, so this is like a soft, flexible thing. And then this part right here is hard. So I'm assuming the hooks, well, the picture has it all, but the hooks probably go in here. All right, and here's the solar panel. It's uh very nice. Oh my, let's see. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be way too big for my desk. I don't know if this is supposed to come off. Okay, sweet. Those will probably never be put back in there again because that's probably way too much effort to do every time. <laughs> it's so neat, everything's packaged so nicely. I love it. All right, so you have your, like, MC4, I, I believe, if memory recalls, uh, co connection. I thought it came with connectors for XT60. Oh, man, that kind of stinks. I won't be able to use this today. I'll have to go buy some connectors to make it uh, XT60. Okay, wow. Yeah, so I'm going to have to basically transition outside because this thing is 
too big for my desk. <laughs> and I can't use this until I get the right connectors. That's okay because my Inker powerhouse, uh, my older one, it has uh, Anderson connections. And I was really wanting to get one that went MC4 to Anderson uh, and MC4 to XT60. So it's not the end of the world. We'll come back and we'll finish this video when we have the uh, proper connections. Because right now this thing is useless to me. All right, so we're outside. It's currently like, you know, raining or was. Things are wet. Not much of a sun. But this is a good time to see like what this thing can do without any sun, really. Are you going in? Are you going in? Okay. But I actually do have the cables. Something else I recently got for a video came with these. So I did order some because it has XT60 and Anderson on it for my other solar generator. But this will work for now. You'll have to excuse all the bird seed, uh, which, like I said, it's been windy and rainy, and bird seed is everywhere. This is my first time using these. It looks pretty self-explanatory, though. This one goes in here, makes a nice little seal and click. This one, or was that right? Can they go in different ones? Oh, it says red positive right here. Okay, sweet. This is black. And that says negative. All right, so we have the positive and the negative hooked up. And here we have our XD60. And here, the most exciting part, is our anchor 548. So we're gonna plug this sucker in. Of course, I'm sitting it on the solar panel, which isn't the best idea. But we're gonna see what just a tiny bit of sun will do. All right, let's move this off of the... All right, so it shows that we are getting zero watts which there's no sun so that makes sense i'm gonna go inside play some video games for a little bit and hopefully before i have to go to work later we'll have some sun all right it's over 100 degrees and it's ridiculously hot and i'm already sweating just walking to this bench so you know what we're gonna do we're not even gonna use the, like the setup thing we're just gonna freaking lay this sucker out of the ground here All right, got our freaking XT60. We have our beautiful Anchor 548. We're gonna connect up the solar input. Something disconnect, what's what's the dealie? Oh, the light came on, can I just not see the screen? Oh, you can't see the screen? It's so dark. So I can't see how well you can see the screen, but we're getting freaking 52 watts of solar right now. Well, let's go. And uh, that's not the most like ideal positioning either. Like I could be facing it more towards the sun, but uh, yeah, boys. Oh, dude, we're getting 59 watts, 60 watts. We're getting 60 watts, dude. Let's go. All right, so we got our MacBook connected up here and you can maybe see that we're inputting 60 watts and we're taking out 58. We're doing 60 watts of input and 51 of output. So in about 25 hours, this bad boy will be fully charged. <laughs> so the cool thing is we're actually putting in more power than we're currently using, which is freaking sweet. And it's gonna be maybe impossible to see that, but this says we're getting about 45 into the laptop right now. And with the sun really shows how bad I need to clean my screen, <laughs> but it shows 84% battery. So yes, this laptop will not charge at 60 watts since it's almost full, but that is freaking sweet. 13 hours in this current state and this battery will be full because we're getting 50, 60 watts of solar. So my GoPro just like overheated or did something bad. I don't know, but it's, it's hot as freak out here. I don't have it facing the perfect sun. Sun actually, it's, it's kind of cloudy, but Hey, I mean, look at this. we got the solar panels on the ground we've got 26 watts of solar going in and 52 watts uh 43 watts going out to the laptop so with 60 freaking watts of input and 45 watts of output if this continues this way in 10 hours we'll have a fully charged battery in here and they actually technically less than that because you probably can't see that 
maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. We'll find out when editing. But this is 40 watts right now, 39. So this 85% battery is almost full. And when it's full, we'll get all 60 watts of input through solar in this thing. And it should take about, you know, three hours to fully charge it. This is freaking sick, dude. So I've got my phone tethering to my laptop and I've got solar charging this battery and I've got this charging my laptop. So in this situation right here, I could literally run this all day long and never worry about my battery dying on my laptop. That is freaking sick. I mean, obviously it's really hot and eventually I'll have to go in because I'll be thirsty and sweaty and freaking hot as hell. But dude, that's freaking sick. That's freaking sick. We don't even have like an ideal sun. And we've got 59 watts going into this thing and 42 watts going out. So the laptop says in 50 minutes it'll be fully charged. And when it's fully charged, this thing will charge up way faster because now it's not outputting any wattage, well, barely any wattage. So like if I unplug my laptop here, the sun just went down, so we're only getting 25 watts. Let's get a sick little thumbnail for this video, dude. We've got the 110 watt solar panel. We've got the MC4 connectors going to an XT60 connector. And we're currently charging up this battery. And I've seen it go as high as 62 watts of input. So technically, uh, the fastest I ever saw with wired was 57. So this thing will actually charge faster with the sun than it will with wired. And the really cool thing is, so if you want to use 60 watts of output, you can use the top one and the sun just came out so that's good and bad but if you're currently charging this thing you can't use both at the same time but since we're charging with solar we could connect our laptop now at 60 watts and then our phone at 27 watts and have 60 watts going in and 87 watts going out which would definitely kill the battery in this thing but it would take a while depending on what this charge is when you hook it all up or if you don't need that fast of a charge you can have four things charging at a slower rate and you're inputting in more than you're using all together so that's freaking sick that's awesome my freaking gopro is going to overheat again at any time so we're going to go ahead and call it but this is freaking awesome this is sick like a long long time ago like it feels like a lifetime ago i was in the army and they had us uh out in the desert and i can tell you what having this freaking solar panel on top of my tent and then freaking having this battery inside of my tent and my laptop playing you know movies and stuff dude this would have been such a sick setup out in the desert <laughs> but that life is uh far long gone it's way behind me unfortunately the really cool thing is too you have all these little hooks so you've got two 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 so you could basically hook this sucker up to like hang it from a wall or a tent or or anything dude we're getting 65 watts of solar i just saw 65 watts of input that is freaking sick we're staying in the high 50s 57 to 60 and I saw 65 when the sun was out strong for a moment. So while recording this, we haven't had the sun in its full like effect. Yeah, 63, 64, 65. Dude, this solar panel is freaking sick, dude. Freaking love it. Maybe that'll be a freaking epic thumbnail or that right there. Freaking sick. Freaking love it. Charges faster using the sun with solar input that it does with wired input. And while you're charging with solar, you can still use both USB-C ports. Unlike if you had to charge it with wired and you only had one output, which yeah, that's, man, this is freaking awesome. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I am out.